Good morning. It's 4 a.m. on Tuesday, May 30th. Here are today's top headlines. Breaking news. Residential areas in Moscow came under attack this morning by several drones. Russia blames Ukraine. We'll have the very latest. After a string of car fires in one local community, police have arrested a suspected arsonist. And a tiny dog to the rescue, chasing off a coyote that was attacking his brother. The early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starts right now. Good morning to you. I'm Lauren Lister in for Chris Schauble this morning. I'm Megan Henderson. Glad to have you with us. Uh, we'll check your roads of ginger coming up. Good to have you here. So nice to be here. And Carlos, Yay. Senator Henry. Uh, people got to call me the luckiest man in Southern California waking up with these No. Oh, wow. Smooth. It's awesome yeah. to have you here. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Look outside our Huntington Beach camera. Also some breeze going on uh, across our area. Coastal communities, a high of 64 with that chance of early morning drizzle. Downtown LA, 70, 73 in the San Fernando Valley. We're looking at 67 in the Orange County inland communities. The IE with high of 71 and then the high desert clear and sunny with the high of 73. Still below normal, uh, but uh, we're going to get a slight chance of a warm up, especially into our weekend. We have more on that coming up in just a few moments. Ginger. All right. Yes. And we have a few things that we have to cover for you, right? We are anticipating it to start to get a little bit heavy a little bit later. I'll explain in just a second. But for now, let's take you over to some of the things that we have going on. So this five freeway, you know, there is going to be a lot of work that will happen here as well. But for now, anyway, you need to know that five southbound side of Templin Highway, some kind of debris that's still kicking in and out of lanes. And remember the stretch between, let's see, Cal Grove to the 14 and vice versa. A lot of work happening there. They're shifting most of that activity now to the southbound side. I think they started that Friday. But they didn't work last night, right, because of the holiday. So tonight it's going to be on. We'll move it into Orange County where there are just a few things going on here and there. You see it fairly quiet, but we know there's a lot of work happening. 405 freeway both directions as you move through areas of Costa Mesa wrapping up at 5 o'clock. And overall, the conditions are still really nice for most of our Orange County freeways. But that fog could be a factor, as Carlos mentioning. All right, guys, back to you. Ginger, thank you. Breaking news. The war between Russia and Ukraine is heating up this morning. Moscow was attacked by drones this morning, and there were new attacks on Ukraine. KTLA's Aaron Myers live in the newsroom now. Aaron. Good morning, you two. Russia said it stopped eight drones in an attack on Moscow early this morning, an incident that officials there are calling a terrorist attack by the Kyiv regime. This comes as Russia continues its bombardment on Kyiv with a third attack in 24 hours. The Russian Defense Ministry said five drones were shot down and three others were jammed, causing them to veer off course. At least two of the drones were said to have hit residential buildings. Residents at both were told to evacuate. At one building, police were seen putting drone debris in a cardboard box and carrying it away. At another site, scorch marks were visible on an apartment building and windows were shattered. According to the mayor of Moscow, two people were injured but did not need to be hospitalized. He said that the attack caused insignificant damage, but it is raising questions about how effective Russia's air defense systems are. The AP reports a senior Russian lawmaker said that Russia is a very big country and there will always be loopholes where a drone can fly in areas where air defense systems are located. He also said this was an intimidation act aimed at civilians and was designed to create a wave of panic. This was the second attack on Moscow this month. Russian officials said the previous attack was aimed at the Kremlin and was an attempt on President Vladimir Putin's life. And in Kyiv yesterday, children and adults ran for cover as Russian...